general, being back on Earth is, is pretty, pretty cool. And to be back here in, in Maine and be back in York, particularly in the fall, um, with the leaves turning and um, high, high school football, I just remember fondly the falls in Maine, and, and that's a season that we don't have in Houston. Um, it just basically goes from hot to a little bit cold in the, in the winter and then back to hot again. And so it's really nice to get back to seasonal changes in, in my home state and everything that Maine has to offer. I remember very vividly, and it doesn't seem that long ago, when I was sitting in the auditorium uh, as a senior in high school listening to you know, whoever came to speak. And uh, never in a million years did I think that I would be back here dressed in this blue astronaut costume talking to, uh, talking to the student. So it's kind of surreal and, and, and uh, at the same time motivates me that, to know that I can, um, you know, have a story that might resonate with some of the, the kids here in York High School. We would spend a lot of our time doing experiments, a lot of time doing uh, maintenance, routine maintenance, just like in your house, you got to maintain all the systems that make it go and corrective maintenance, fixing broken things. Um, a lot of cargo, it, there, there's a great deal of resupplies that come up to the space station and also a great deal of trash and managing the flow of the incoming new things and the outgoing old things uh, takes a lot of time. And then preparing for unique events like spacewalks or robotic, um, moving the robotic arm. But most of our time is spent um, tending to and activating or deactivating the science experiments that are going on in a given day. Inside the spaceship looking out the window, it's beautiful, it's cool, and it feels safe. But as soon as you put a helmet on and open that hatch and, you, and it's just your, between your eyes and earth is one small skinny piece of uh, helmet visor, it's a completely different ball game and you're gripping on really tight and you gotta tell yourself, I'm not gonna fall, I'm not gonna fall. I like everything about um, what I'm doing, so I'm in no, uh, in no hurry to change any of that. I don't need to retire or move on to some, something else. It's just a perfect place and I enjoy it. Um, the opportunity to go in space is probably four or five years away because there's several other people in line ahead of me and, uh, and I, I certainly would like to um, you know, be at home for a little because the lead up, the training to a mission is very busy. You spend ha more than half your time away from home uh, in Russia or Japan or Germany. Each of those places have training facilities. So it's a, it's a busy two years leading up to the mission and then the mission itself. So it'll be nice to have a couple years just to be in Houston and do a regular supporting role and have more of a nine to five kind of job in Houston uh, before I start the process again.